Why not start a vlog on podcast day? So you guys can see a little bit of BTS on when we record the podcast. I am getting dressed, super comfy outfit. I already did Orange Theory this morning. And came home, took a shower. I think I'm going to make myself oatmeal really quick before I head to the studio because I have quite a few hours that I'm going to probably be there. So I am wearing this outfit from Skims, which I'm going to show you guys in a sec. It is so comfy. All right. It is the cotton fleece collection from Skims. This is just a little crop top from Target. And I just love this pink color. And I got my new balances on. Perfect little podcast recording comfy outfit. Now I'm going to pack up my bag because I'm going to be out of the house for a bit. So let me get that. All right. A little snack for later. This is the new Built Bar flavor, chocolate brownie chunk puff what I think of that I think it releases it'll already be out by the time you guys see this extra charger for the studio maybe I'm going to throw an extra bar in my purse too could be a long day. Let's go make some oats. We decided to do black on the outside and it looks really good. It just needs Definitely needs another coat, but it looks so good, you guys. Look at it. It looks so good. We put the rest of the panels up on this wall, so now that wall is good. This is the the desk I built in my other in my vlog, and that is because that's like my production desk. So when I need to move the equipment out of the scene and I'm producing the episode. But yeah, so, okay, I'm gonna set up for can of coffee. Look how different it looks when the lights are not pink. All right, you guys, here it is. We are ready to roll. Canada with coffee, BTS, baby. Do you have anything to say to the vlog? Uh, <laughs> Vlogging. Just spewing my message here about processed booze and the body positivity movement and not to give into it. This is a little BTS, guys. Yes. Mr. Esco Elite is doing his thing in the studio. We stay making content. Stay making content. Content, right. baby. Yeah. I never thought in a million years I'd be a content creator. This girl got me, turned me into a damn content creator. But it is what it is. It we have is. a message to say. And we're you say can it. reach more people that way. Yes. That's why. That's it's way. all about reach. Yep. And with, with this platform, we can reach. I can train yes. one person. Downstairs, this is a gym. We can go downstairs. I could train one person in an hour, or I can reach thousands millions. in an hour. Millions. 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 These yeah. Go viral. Yeah. For for real. So that's that's why we do what we do because yep. we can reach more people this Look, way. Lives. One to, one we just time. finished doing Canada with coffee. 
by the way, also. So we, this set transforms. It's currently yes. Esco Elite Mindset, but. It is. Um, and it was a really good episode. So let's yes, see. Hopefully, by the time, time you guys see this vlog, you the that episode is already up. It's Friday's episode. It's episode 482. And it's very interesting. We share things on that episode that we've never shared before. So if you haven't listened to it, um, I will link it up here. You guys listen to that episode because it's a good one. I'll link it here, actually. This side. I always get the side wrong. I'm going to link it right here. All right, you guys. Now, Mike is gone, and I'm going to spend the next couple hours editing the podcast. I also have YouTube up for entertainment purposes. And then when I leave here, I want to go to Home Goods. I need to get something to organize down there. I also need to look for new towels. We need some new towels. So I'll take you guys along with, you know, I love home goods and it's Wednesday. And so I like a midweek trip to home goods before it's like all picked over. I'm going to have this little snack here in a bit. Um, well, the lighting is crazy in my car right now, but um, finally left the studio, got quite a bit of work done. Some started my editing. And now I'm gonna head to Home Goods, so let's go check out Home Goods. Need a candle. These little organizers. That was um, a success because I went there to get towels and I was taking a shower this morning and I realized like, why haven't we gotten new towels in a while? These look dingy. We have white towels and they just start to look dingy after a while. So got some white, nice white from the hotel collection um, towels. And then I needed to get some more um, things to organize the cabinet in the studio, like for different cords and stuff. You wouldn't believe how many cords and cables there are when it comes to recording and camera equipment and things like that, you guys. It's crazy. So um, I, d I was able to get a couple things like that because I bought, I was gonna buy them on Amazon and they were so expensive on Amazon. It was like $56 on Amazon for what I got here for like, 20. So I got that and then I got a candle, I got a hand soap and I got some more glasses, just like some, a little bit more hardier, sturdier, a few glasses to add to my cabinet. And that's kind of about it there. I didn't do, I didn't do too much damage, but it's nice. It wasn't too crowded, which was nice. Now I'm gonna head home. I had ordered a Sephora same day delivery, which by the way, if I if you guys haven't heard my hack for Sephora, this, the hack for Sephora is to order whatever you need, what products you need, do a um, same day delivery early in the morning, midweek. So you will get fresh stock because all of the popular products and colors and things like that are always sold out in store. And then if you do a same day delivery on the weekends, you, you're picking from the same inventory. And if you're like me and you can't wait, you pay the $6.99 and you get a same day delivery midweek. And the chances are the products that you order, you'll actually get. We'll see though, because I don't know. I, you know, the order's at, at the house, but I got a couple of restocks. I restocked my eyebrow, restocked my concealer. I got a new foundation to try on like days that I want a little more coverage. I realized that I want a little more, a little heavier makeup look when I'm filming because like this is my like, everyday makeup look but on camera it comes across I look very washed out like I very look I look like I have hardly any makeup on it 
it's so funny because when I do my makeup, I feel like, oh my God, this is so much makeup. And then I see myself on camera and I'm like, nope, it doesn't look like I have any makeup on at all. So I need to do a little bit of heavier makeup on filming days like this. Like I feel like I'm so like, like I have no makeup on. Like it looks like I have no makeup on. Cause I just use the serum, skin tint. And so I think I need a foundation. Anyways, I, I got recommended House Labs by Lady Gaga. So I'm gonna try that. Anyways, we'll get to the house and I'll do a little Sephora haul for you guys. And then I need to eat. I think I have mega fit meals waiting for me. So maybe I'll show you guys mega fit meals. And yeah, we'll just kind of like have ourselves a vlog. Well, I guess my driveway is gonna be nice and clean and soapy. Uh, so annoyed. I have had a long day, um, but I got home and my son had already put mega fit meals a mega fit meal because I'm tired and I don't feel like making anything. So they come in clutch. Okay, I wanted to show you guys my Sephora haul because I did get it. So we'll try some of this stuff too. All right, there's a little better lighting. It looks like everything came. So this is the House Labs foundation, and I guessed on the color. So let's, you know how they have that like, find your shade in Sephora. I've gotten lucky with that before. So we shall see. I got, um, I can't read it. I'm blind, but I, but we'll see. It looks okay. I'll probably use a blue a beauty blender with it. I could always mix too. I have multiple foundations, so mm. I think that looks okay. I like the coverage. What do we think? Can you tell? Come on. Charles. So fucking needy. Okay. Anyways. Mmm. Yeah. I think I like that. I think it will be better with the beauty blender. But I think I like it. Good coverage. I just put it right on top of my other makeup too. Alright, so there's that. I think that's a go. Like everything is here and I accidentally got two items two of the same I hate when I do that I always do that in the Sephora cart but it's okay because it's a loop which means I can put one in my purse this is the Anastasia lip velvet in peachy nude It's got a nice sharp tip. Okay, I like this color, so I'm okay with it being duped, or two of them. I like the combo. Do we like that? I'll link all of this stuff, but you gotta use my hack. 
Mmm, I like. Okay, so there's that. So now this one, I'm just going to put in my purse. And to be honest, oh, they had my brow flick. See, this has been sold out. I mean, every time I go to get it, it's been sold out. And they had it. This is why my hack works. I'm going to throw this one out because this one is hanging on for dear life. Look at it. Look at it. It's like a mess. Bye-bye. So there's that. They had my concealer, which is wonderful. I can throw this one out now, which was also hanging on for dear life. Dry. So there is that. 2.5C. The best. Kosas. Boom. Okay. Now, I don't know what this is, to be honest. Oh, it has a little sharpener. Oh, another liner. I guess I was in a liner kind of mood. Expose. I really like this peachy nude color. This is like a, just a nude shocker. I guess I'll figure that one out once I have nothing on my lips. So anyways, that's it for my little haul. This liner came with a little sharpener. I think I have to clear out my... lipsticks, to be honest. Hello, it is the next morning. It is now Thursday, January 18th. And I wanted to, I'm gonna get this my mirror over here. But by the way, I wanna show you guys my mirror. Isn't it cool? You can take it off and put, you can like turn it around. So for my makeup, it actually is better vertical. Um, but I'm getting ready to go to the gym. My hair's crazy. Um, but I wanted to show you guys the foundation now that I have nothing else on. And we'll vlog a little bit today. This will be a days in my life vlog because I don't think I really vlogged too much yesterday. Okay, so there is the house labs. I'm just gonna kinda. Okay, definitely too many pumps. A little goes a long way. But I really liked it yesterday, so. I wanted to try it with the Beauty Blender. This liner is the perfect 
liner. No wonder it was always sold out. The Makeup Forever Caffeine, every, anywhere caffeine. Love that. And I really like the foundation. The foundation is a yes for me. I always make a mess with my foundations. Anyways, I need to organize this situation. Hopefully today I'll get to that because this is this is not working for me. Let's go through my little makeup bag and repack it. This is what I keep in my purse. So, because I'm going to put, this is the extra peachy nude that I got. So I was going to put that in here, but let's see what's in here. Hot mess, antibacterial wipes. Um, this is a sunscreen setting powder. So why this is good is if you get a little, like say like after the gym you get a little oily, you just open it up and then you can set the oily areas and it's also, it's sunscreen. This is from Super Goop, I think. Yeah, Super Goop. So this is good, it's perfect to have in there. It's, like, it's just basically like setting powder on the go. This is like random medications, like headache pills and stuff. I have a little perfume, a little Chloe perfume. I've actually packed this pretty well, a little hand lotion. Oil blotting pads. Oh, see, I forgot about this liner. There is a nice Marc Jacobs liner in here. Oh no. Oh no, the liner just basically fell out. Okay, we're back. That's a pretty color. So this is what happens when you don't go through things in a while. I have a million liners in here, so I don't need all of that in there. So I'm gonna put some of these away. I do need, I want to keep a cool tone brown in there. This is the Iconic Nude from Charlotte Tilbury. This is kind of like a good all over color. And then I will keep that in there. So those will be that. And then I need a clear. Ooh, I have a clear. This is the Inky List Tripeptide Plumping Lip Balm. So that's, that's good. And then this is like a little brush kit and then this which is perfect for these little brushes is a saint makeup so there's a bronzer so I can bronze really quick there's also a clear lip balm and just like a lip a lip there so this is good too because this is the compact with the mirror so this is the only mirror and this is nice and compact so it fits well in this bag these are a couple little hair ties so I think I've got a good little little emergency bag and everything kind of fits nicely. This is a little Sephora brush kit. I really rare, rare do I apply makeup again, except for maybe lit, but the, you know, the minute you don't have it is when you will need it. So I will keep all of this stuff in here. And I will leave the lips at the top because this is what I'm going to use the most frequently. So that just, this kind of stays in my purse. This isn't, doesn't go in my gym bag. This is like the bag that stays in my purse. Because when I am in the gym, the chances of me reapplying makeup are zero. So in my gym bag, I have different stuff. I have like a refi, I have hair ties, a deodorant. So this is good. I will put it in my bag and now that I have been going to the studio I basically it's kind of like my office and so I've been doing a lot of my work from there so um, I do leave the house more often and this is the bag that I take all right so now I'm getting ready to go to the gym so I want to show you guys this is the little bag I keep in my gym bag I keep a scrunchie Sol de Janeiro body spray 
a Refi lip gloss, and deodorant. So this is like my gym essentials. And then I just keep that right inside my gym bag at all times. the little skims pouch that I got a long time ago with an order. I keep like my hard drive, memory cards, things like that in there. And headphones. product. It's their hydration product. So I'm adding a scoop of this as well. Mm. New product I just added to my regimen. This is like a non-stimulant fat burner. It's good for appetite control and energy and it's just a liquid. I just pour it in and drink up. All right you guys I'm back from the gym. Ugh. I need to get a little work done. I got in like comfortable clothes. I have a package right now. So let's do a little unboxing. It's skims. What a shocker. I got their soft lounge. I have these in brown. So I got them in black. They're so figure flattering and just like a comfortable lounge wide leg pant for home love the material of the soft lounge so I got those they're so cute on because I have the I have the brown ones and then in the same color as the sweats I was wearing yesterday I got the off the shoulder raw edge bodysuit I hope this isn't going to be too see-through cute with some jeans or like a little like a skirt I'm trying to put together outfits for my birthday next week because I have lots of different things going on but yeah I might have to wear like a... all right come inside peeps you guys just follow me everywhere okay finally stopping for a sec Caffeine free Diet Coke, legendary chips in the nacho cheese flavor. If I had to describe these, they're very similar to pop chips. Very, very good. And then a Mega Fit PB&J. I'm so hooked on these. I get two to three every week. Um, and I have a half sandwich and chips as like, a, like my lunch. I've been going to the studio a lot lately and these come in handy because these are great, like grab and go, eat anywhere, on the go kind of lunches. So, although I'm not in the studio right now, I did spend a couple hours there earlier. 
Um, but yeah, these are great to have. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Watching a little Housewives now. I'm gonna eat, and then I gotta get get to work. Meal plans don't do themselves. We're gonna tackle this. We are gonna tackle this one at least. Not my best work because I'm a little bit rushed, but it does look a little better than it did. I need to wash my brushes desperately. But this is kind of like what I use on a daily basis, kind of. Mostly this. Charles! Come on. So my next vlog next week is going to be for sure days in my life and it's going to cover Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday because it's my birthday week and so it's going to be like birthday vlog and I have plans every single day. Speaking of which, I was just planning like outfits because I usually wear workout clothes so if I'm going to go places I need to plan outfits because otherwise I have nothing to wear because all I have is athleisure honestly. But I got this right now from Evolve. It's so cute. I love this cut. Oh, this is so cute. And so I'll show you guys. When I plan outfits, I use this little rack. Throw this out. I use this rack. So I have these like cargo pants with this gold top as one outfit. I have this like bustier with some jeans as another. Oops, oops. I just don't know what I'm gonna wear what thing yet. I have this skirt that I've had forever with the faux Gucci tights with that bodysuit that I showed you earlier. I was thinking that would be cute. So these are the outfits and I need to hang this. Of course shoes and accessories and all that but for you guys to see the finished product, you have to tune into next week's vlog. Next Tuesday's vlog will be all these things. Hopefully I survive it because that's a lot of days in a row that I'll be doing stuff. But it always ends up kind of being like that on birthday weekend. Friday, I'm, uh, or Thursday, I'm going to a live podcast in San Francisco. Teddy Mellencamp and Tamara Judge, two teas in a pod. So that's one outfit. Then Friday night is our Friday night live, which by the way, if you are interested in joining our live, it's on here on YouTube, I'll link it. Um, but it's like an hour and a half Q and A live podcast episode, our Candidly with Coffee podcast. So there's that. And then we're going out to dinner after that with, um, my cousin, she's going to meet us at the studio and then we're going to go out to dinner. And then Saturday, we're going back to the city to go out to dinner, like another birthday dinner um, at, at STK. And then Sunday is an Orange Theory birthday burn because that's my official birthday and then lunch with my daughter. But I don't have an outfit for that. That's just my workout clothes. But anyways, those are the outfits that I, I'm thinking of going with. Let's see if that is what ends up happening or not. Honestly, I've been vlogging for several days and I don't know what I have vlogged. That's the problem with vlogging for several days, but it is Friday, January 19th, and I am getting ready for the gym. It's a little later. I think it's like almost 8. So, instead of going hungry, I'm 
I'm going to have a little snack. These are the banana muffins that I've been eating from MegaFit. They are so delicious and I think they're limited so I get one every single time I order. And then this is really good, you guys. The first time I've tried Justin's Vanilla Almond Butter. So good. So I'm just gonna have a muffin. And we're gonna do some almond butter. A little tip when it comes to nut butter. Always weigh it out of the jar. What I mean by that is you put your nut butter on the scale and then you tear it to zero and then I'm going to do one tablespoon, so 16 grams. You put the spoon in until it says negative 16 grams and then you just take the whole spoon and that's your serving. Otherwise, you're always going to serve yourself extra if you do it the other way around. So this is the best way to measure nut butter and because you know that even what's left on the spoon that's part of your 16 grams so you can eat it so I'm gonna also grab a couple of strawberries and have myself a nice little pre-workout treat my appetite this week has been really bad really bad and there's a reason for it um there is a peptide that i've talked about before it's called igf insulin growth factor it's supposed to be for building muscle and um giving you increased energy and increases cell turnover in your body um and one of the side effects of it is uh, increased appetite initially then it balances out i took the peptide a few months back for a couple of months and then I took a couple of months off as a break and now I'm starting it again and I had forgotten how intense the appetite is in the first couple of weeks. It's only been about, I think a week since we started taking it again and Mike experienced the same thing. And I'm glad he reminded me because I couldn't understand why I was so ravenous. So I've been eating closer to like 1700 calories a day because the hunger is just out of control. Um, but yeah, I feel good though. So that's all that matters. I feel lean. I feel good. I feel like I'm getting leaner and more muscular and that's the goal. So more food is fine by me. So here's my little snack and yeah, I guess I'll just kind of take you through a little bits of today before I finally close out this vlog and see what I got because I've definitely been doing it a few days in my life. So we'll see what the day leads leads to all right guys it is now much later in the day another day another skims sweatsuit i'm obsessed with these they're so comfy especially on a rainy day which it is i am going to get my nails done now it is now friday afternoon so i'm gonna do that and get these puppies done because they look really grown out and then I decided I'm going to bless you guys with a video on how Mike makes his burgers. The burgers I had in the last vlog were so delicious. I think it's like 310 calories for a cheeseburger with the bun and the cheese and the burger. And it is literally like you're eating fast food. So he makes it just perfect. I want to show you exactly how he does it. And so I think we're going to have burger and fries tonight. So that will be fun. And yeah, so I guess we're going to get my nails done. And then, you know, we're going to wrap up this vlog because I don't even know what I filmed at this point. All right, we are all done and I'm going to show you my nails. I'm all like got powder all over me. So I had them um, make them a little thinner, which I like them. I like this shape a little better. They were getting like too thick, but I did shocker. Where's my colors? So I did one bubble bath on the bottom 
and then two funny bunnies. So it's kind of like a milky white, but there's a slight pink tinge to it, which I love. Same on my toes, and it was fabulous because she gave me a really good massage, which I needed because I've been like working on the computer all day. I've been like troubleshooting technical stuff. Like I had a list of technical issues I have had like with recording and like product the podcast production and it's been bothering me because I don't like when I can't figure things out. So I just hadn't had time to like sit and play and test and so I literally spent like 3 hours straight doing that and I worked through all the issues which makes me really excited because if you are familiar with my podcast like I talked about earlier in this vlog I believe um we go live we do a live episode but I still like the audio and the camera quality to be good like a like an actual episode and the last live we had technical difficulties because Mike was late so we were gonna be late and so I didn't have time to like think through the process and I was kind of under the gun Yes, I'm blaming him because it truly is his fault. He pushed it way too close. And so I there was a couple of things that I let slide. But anyways, I digress. I figured it all out. So I'm assuming, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, the next live goes off without a hitch. But I feel so much just better because the, the pending items that I needed to troubleshoot list was bothering me this week. But I had to do my other stuff first, like client meal plans, macros. You know, it's January. Everyone's got summer, like summer body prep on the brain. So it's a really busy time for a weight loss coach. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, on that note, I currently have my February one-on-one -on -one coaching client. I have some spots available. I had opened 10, but I think four are gone. So I think I've got six or maybe five left. I'm not sure how many I'll have left when this vlog goes up, but probably around five or so. So if you are interested, my information is down in the description. I also do macro assessments and you can get a macro assessment. It's more cost effective, one off, but um, you're kind of on your own on that. There's some videos and I do a very in-depth assessment but I don't like coach you through that process all right you guys my nail salon is that close it's literally like five minutes away uh not even five minutes five minutes walking probably it's like a minute driving anyways I will tap in in a little bit when we make the burgers I'm excited to have a burger and fries I've been craving it. Mr. Escobar has the burgers just like down pat and he's very proud of himself for it. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Chef boy, our Mike, he's doing his thing. Oh, I should measure up fries. Are you gonna have fries too? You know what? I will. Why not? Let me see the, um, the meat. So this is it, you guys. Take a screenshot. It's the Good and Gather 93% lean. So good. It's actually not very expensive either. There are macros in it. Yes. There are the macros. Mike's cutting onions. We're going to do them like McDonald's style oh, chopped yeah. onion. Chopped onions. In the okay, shop. and these are the buns. Keto or wheat buns. I know I showed them last time, but these are the macros on the bun. I thought they were 80 calories. Charlie? This says 70. What the hell? I thought they were 82. Yeah. So, so, so how many grams of protein? 13 grams of fiber, by the way. 9 grams of protein. Wow. 13 grams of fiber. That's a good source of fiber. One of these is selling out like crazy. We'll All right. We got a little better light in this kitchen this time. Let me turn this down a little bit. That's a good spin, right, babe? Good spend. Good return on investment. Good return on investment. That's what I said. Spend your money wisely. What do you say to your clients all the time? Your businessmen clients. Yeah. Yeah. How much money you got to spend in the day? Make sure you come back with a good return on investment. Yeah. And then what do you say when they mess up? 
What do you tell them I was here? Are you telling them? Cost the company money. <laughs> you guys think I'm bad. If you had Mike as your coach. Which open? Too many. I got those already open. What are you doing? Which ones? You need not see? Right there. No. Oh, I didn't see. Oh, you just needed one more. Jeez. Okay. Uh, cool your jets. Over here. You're on camera. That's not the whole program. Put those back. We need to go back. Cool your jets. Mr. Mrs. Suchet. You're messing me up over here. Let's go. Well, usually you do the buns over here. Shh. Come back. Don't you? Let me do my thing. Okay, fine. Do the fries. You just want one serving of fries? One? So I'm caught you. I'm serious. I'm right here, you know. Wait a minute, where's the fast food fries? Is what's this in there? I just threw it in there so keep it nice and cool. I know it's in there. Oh. Don't forget the cup. I drink it. Fast food fries. Not doing animal style fries, just nah. regular old Himalayan salt. Get this from Trader Joe's over here, you guys. Onion salt from Trader Joe's. Oh yeah, Joe's. show how you're seasoning it. So you're doing onion salt, show. I did. Okay. Onion salt, Himalayan salt from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna do some uh, what you call it, a little bit of garlic powder. This garlic's good. I know a lot of people probably cook it and burn it. Yes, no, a lot of people put garlic on burgers. I don't have pepper, so. I don't like pepper too much. Okay, so 84 grams is one serving of fries. Garlic powder. Trying to judge you guys. The best part about these burgers is they're already portioned out. And it's nice and flat and like just the perfect shape. And they come out the perfect size for these buttons too. Show the show close up the meat so they can see how much seasoning. Yeah, there you go. I just eyeball it. I'm not the measure here. No. Just kind of eyeball it, cover the patty, and then I just take my finger and kind of rub it into then, the other side. Oh, really? Season both sides? I always do both sides. Okay, air fryer. 12 minutes at 390, make the perfect crispy fries. Just get the Good and Gather brand at Target and we get the reduced fat option. This is only 50 calories a slice and five grams of protein. Yep, good one-on-one -on -one ratio. Mm -hmm. Spend your money wisely. Spray butter for the bread, just a little bit. A little spray, yeah, chemical, a, little, a little chemical action. Yep. For the chemical police. Yep. You like pickles, don't you? Not in my burger. Oh, I do like pickles, but not in my burger. Okay, so they're on, oh, what is it on? Oh, power boost. Huh? Oh, so the super high as it can be. And the timer yeah. is set for three minutes. And I'll turn it lower on the other side. Like six, but not three. On number, so you flop it over, you flip them after three minutes and then you turn it to six. Yes, the black, why do we like them? Because we like them medium rare. Yeah, we like them pink in the middle. Medium. I like them pink in the middle. That's what keeps them juicy. If you overcook it, they're going to be dry. Again, okay, just steam it a little bit. Yeah, Take the juice it, make it nice and juicy. Yep. You guys, the fries are so perfect. Look at the fries, like a golden brown.
All right, we are almost ready. There you go. That I'm excited to go to sleep so that I could wake up and eat Stan's donuts. I'm like a little kid. Ooh. Let me see how that looks. Ooh, look at that. Boom. Melted cheese. That's why this reduced fat cheese still melts really good. If cheese doesn't melt good, I don't want it. That one to save for the later day. Okay, mine is just an onion one. Yep. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at this beauty. You guys, I'm going to take a bite and we're going to see it. Ooh, look at, I love the way the cheese came up on the side. There's some cups in here, not mine. Well, they're in there because there was dishes. The dishwasher was running. I'm going to take a bite. Tell me how it is. Is that how you wanted it? Yeah. Perfection. Look at Ooh. that. I like it pink. Damn, That's I'm what makes it, it juicy. Huh? Juicy. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I get two of these. You gotta film that. Two. Dos. What do you gotta fill it from here? Film it for your Instagram. All right, you guys. I am gonna enjoy my burger, and I'm gonna end off this vlog that feels like I've been filming it forever. I have no idea what I've even filmed, but I'll see you guys next Tuesday. <laughs>